It was a horrible experience. I was on my own when I saw these guys beating a young man restlessly. They caught him with AK-47. Okay, we are beating him. The guy was at the verge of passing away. Like dying before he sent for me. When I got there, I started to apologize that uh, he was threatening me to kill me. This, that, this, that. Before something happened and they caught him. I should please forgive him. Like he came for me. I was like, you were threatening me to kill me. What for? He said, I should please forgive you. I should please forgive you. He said, I'm not forgiving you. The moment I forgive you, the man died. Like he gave up the ghost. Who? Even? Who was the boy? You won't believe this. He was the son of the man I accidentally killed with my car. Abiodo, one Abiodo like that, right? I know him, baby. You know when you were going there, uh, when you're undergoing your prison sentence, I actually went to meet him and his mom with my friend Michel. I went to plead with them to please, you know, try to make things to see reasons that it was an accident. I thought he has even forgiven you. Oh my goodness, baby, thank God for your life. What would I have done? Shit is crazy. I don't even know what to say out of it. My God. Check on my guy. I don't think. Yes,
Um, my name is Hilda. Please, can you tell my brother that the sister is here? Hmm? What did he say? Can you go up there, tell my brother that Hilda, the lovely sister, is here and she has come to stay? Well, that you know that I have put to bed. I gave birth to twins, two, two bouncing babies for Chubi. <clears throat> but if you want to stay in this house and remain a second wife, you're welcome. <laughs> Robert! Robert! Um, sis, can you help me get my luggage from the car trunk, please? Okay, all right, no problem. Um, Barista, thank you so much. Thank you very much for your intervention on my brother's case. You're welcome. I mean, if not for you, the jail terms would have been 20 years or more. Thank you so much, sir. We thank God. Everything worked well for His grace. Thank you so much. So what do I offer you? I'm all right, my daughter. You don't need anything? Yes. How about uh, Chubi? Um, he just stepped out. The mood of his dressing, I don't think he's going to anywhere far. Okay, I just came to check on him. All right, sir. Thank you so much. So you mean you don't need anything? Yes, I don't. I'm very all right. Maybe when next I come. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, tell me, are you in court today? No, not at all. The court will be holding tomorrow. Um, Chubi and Hilda here. There's something I've been wanting to let you people know. Hilda, Hilda. The Chief Judge of the Federation, Supreme Court of the Federation, is the biological father to your mother, which makes him your grandfather. Yes. I know you'll be shocked to hear this. Wait. Are you saying that the Chief Justice of the Federation, Ella Hilton, is my grandfather? Yes. He is the biological father to your mom. It shouldn't be. It's called for celebration. It's something we should be happy about. Because here in this family, we have a lawyer, we have a chief judge, we have a soldier, and Chubi here is an engineer. And hi here, I'm a doctor. So we should be celebrating. Yeah, but how come we never knew all this one? Well, well, this is you, crazy. You just, this is the day the Lord has made it possible for you to know. So you just have to take it. So Cheers to the good news. And your drink? Um, she doesn't do that at all. So, bro, what are we going to do next? Is it a celebration? Because this call for a celebration. Indeed. Yes. Should we, you should be happy for this. So, Yes. Our granddad? Yes. <laughs> Wonders shall be How could you, mom? How could you? How could you keep something like that away from me? Your daughter, why? What are you trying to talk about? Because you see this is your shout, I don't have to act. Mom? What? Mom, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. How can you not tell me? That Chubi and Hilda 
They are nothing but siblings. Why did you allow me to make fool of myself? Why? Because I don't know. Yes, you I do. don't. Mom, stop saying that. You knew about it. You do. Will you stop shouting and make me understand what you are trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, you hid the facts away from your own daughter. What are you trying to achieve? That Chubi and uh, Hilda are siblings? Yes. What do you take me for? A liar? In all honesty, I am getting to hear it from you. Yes. I don't know Chubi from Adam. You brought Chubi to this household. So please, where did you hear that from? Don't worry, Mom. Since you say you're not aware, no problem. But I'm very, very sure and convinced that you are much aware. But you just you chose to just keep it away from me. You know Reason is best known to you. Suit yourself. No problem. Just no suit problem. yourself. Because I don't see any reason why I should know about this. I'm just only sad that I made a fool out of myself. You made a fool of yourself on what? On the fact that I know that there were siblings and I refused to tell you about it long time before now. Listen, I don't know Chubi, neither Elder. You brought them to the picture. Check it out now. <laughs> this one is for my introduction. Mm, this is beautiful. You like it? I like the stunning. I just, yes. This is your designer is good. Mad oh mad. Yeah. You know, when I told her that, I want them to bid everywhere with stones. Yeah, like so cool, so cool. <laughs> so by the time I wear well. it, eh? She did a good joke. Well. Look yeah. at the skirts. When I wear it now, all my kibidi, everything will just show. <laughs> <laughs> Mad girl, all in the job. And this one hmm. is for my traditional marriage. Mm. By the time I wear it, tie my gele with my purse. Oh, I probably this. Awesome. Beautiful. You know, when I saw it, I liked it. I fell in love. So I told my baby about it. So he said he liked it too. He's using the same thing, right? Of course. Oh, we're twin. As it should be. Hello. <laughs> it's my wedding. Yeah. So calm down. It's not your wedding. I know. Uh. I know. I know. You don't have to rub it on my face. <laughs> Let it be, my sister. It's not easy to get married, you know. Who is this one? Hey. I'm just saying. <laughs> and here is the almighty. Almighty. Almighty wedding. <laughs> Can you see it? It's so happy, no joke. I love it. It has to be important. It has to be important. I don't know. I don't expose you. I don't know. I don't know. You know, 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 if you like, oh, but let's babe, take it from anywhere. You were lucky to have gotten this. Of course, and that was why I had to bid it. See all the stones. No, it's I, I, it's like, amazing. Seriously, we, you like it, Abby? We picked so well. Mm -hmm. So I told my baby to go and choose eh, the best suit that would suit this, you know? Mm. You like fine, it, right? No one is ever going to believe that it's okay. Oh, hello. When I'm done, you can use it for your life. Whatever. <laughs> you, you don't have to spend all your money just because you want to do wedding. You can do a small wedding oh, and then your home will be open. That is so precious to me. I know what I want. Oh, I got to be here all the time so that you will enjoy. Say it there. So, Granddaddy, how will the good thing? You there? Yeah, where is the Chubi? Um, he went to the supermarket to get something. Okay, um... What does he get fancy? Has she come? Oh, uh, she alright? Not yet, not yet. No, the uh -huh. I think she'll come very soon. Okay. Yeah? Good afternoon, Ma. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm very well. I'm here. Um, you are? Yes. Oh! 
Oh, Jubin is the first name? Sit down, sit down. Oh. Debbie. What's your name? I'm Debbie. Oh, Debbie? Yes. Wow. Such a pretty girl. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. You wrote this for my day. And tell Jubin to come right away. His fiance is here. Yeah. Okay, I'm right away. She's beautiful. You can say that again. Yeah, my dear, you're very beautiful. And I hope you'll be of good behavior. Wow. And the next thing is just to visit her people and uh, pay her diary. I think I like her. Me too. Yes, I like her. I hope I'm on the right track. Everything is powerful. <laughs> Oh, pretty cool. Which one should I use? I'm checking. Since your dress has yellow, uh, should I want something this? that will make me very, very beautiful. Oh, what? Are you still dressing up? No, we're almost done. What do you mean, almost done? Almost. The yellows are here already. Are you serious? I'm speaking with you. Chubby's grandmother is seated at the ground floor. Uh, are you not supposed to come and say hi? Hey, mommy, let her wait. Uh, please, can this wait? No. Mom, let her wait. No, I'll be coming. Mom, I need to look good before she comes. Please, be quick. Let me go and see the catcher and know what they are doing. Mommy, the food and the drinks. I'll go see about all those. See the drinks and Michelle. Mom, am I speaking to someone? Yes, mom. Please be quick. Okay. I need you downstairs as soon as possible. Okay. Alright. How can you waste your mouth? Go. Is this your value? It's gold. Yes. Now that the longest pricing to go for this. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, mom. Yeah, so, which car are we using? Mom? Driver! Oh, you have a guest. So, I arrange mean, my dress. You have a guest. Welcome, sir. Hello, Mr. Ashley. Hello, Which one are we using? Baby, you look so good! Hey, <laughs> Chumi! You look so good! <laughs> Baby, do you know him? He's your father. Huh? What? How? Please. Baby. I mean this is your father. I don't know. I'm I'm even surprised, Mom. My father. How? Where have you been? Mom, what are you saying? This marriage is cancelled. Uh -uh. What are you saying? Me. Baby! Baby, wait! Hey. Mom, what? Mommy, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Talk to me! What are you saying? I am asking you! Talk to me. Who is my father? Anger can be very dangerous. Distance yourself from me. If you wanna wanna live long. If you wanna wanna live long. Don't revenge. Forgive. Don't revenge. No matter, no matter what. Take it easy, easy. This life is mystery. Yeah. We are all passerby. Passerby. Don't allow anger to limit your future. Don't allow anger to destroy all your beautiful. Explain to me the disaster you caused at my wedding. Start talking. Explain to me. I know you're not deaf. You can hear me, right? Debbie, don't you dare Debbie me. Please, you need to calm down. Don't you dare say a word to me. You think I'm stupid? Start 
That's okay. Oh, you think I'm joking with you? You see? You joking? No, you think I'm joking with you? Oh, no. You think I'm joking with you? spent 15 million in this wedding that did not hold. <sighs> I'm sure you have not lived by that. Not at all. Honestly, we are yet to be told what happened or what went wrong. Not to be Debbie or Zimet has come forward to make any explanation. Daddy. I think you should summon Chubi for questioning. It was a fraud. I have this feeling it might be connected to Daddy's foundation. I have some feelings too. You yeah. have? That's what I felt. Having that feeling, honestly. Okay. <sighs> Julie, crying solves no problems. Just be humble and accept your corrections. Chubi, be a man. Chubi, never fight to run away. You know why? It is unethical. Confine in us as your king's man. Okay. That man. That man that walked into that wedding ceremony. The man that made me change my mind. That man. Uh, that man, that man walks. What happened? That man. That man killed my mom. Goodbye. Damn. How? Oh. I can go. Just tell him. He just came out of prison. Julie, if I may ask you, who is your information source? I was in prison with him. He told me everything himself. That man killed my mother. Jesus! Jesus. Sometimes it is not over yet. Not at all. 
My mother has ruined my life. You ruined my life. You want us to flock together. As pets of the fed. God. Debbie. This is a family affair. We can talk about it. And sort it and make it me. My dear daughter. I'm so sorry. I know I failed in my obligation. I know I failed you as a mother. I don't even know what to explain. I don't know how to go about this whole thing. I was so naive. Back then I was just living life. I didn't even know what Stephen was into at the time until the case came up. And shortly after that, I found out that I was pregnant with you. I don't know. That's why I told you that you don't have a father, that your father is late. I didn't want to explain this to you. Because I don't know what to tell you. I don't want you to know that your father was serving a jail time for 27 years. My fear was that it would affect your growth. Please. Lena, please, you have to forgive me. Please. There is no need crying. When the head is pressed down, it is off. Why didn't you tell me? Like, I can't, I can't put this whole thing together. I've tried to comprehend all this, but I can't. You need to calm down. Please. I understand how hot you are. Please take it easy. Why didn't you tell me? Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, put my head around all this. I can't, I can't still comprehend all this. Are you saying to my face? That the same man, Steve, who killed Chubby's mom, is the same man that gave birth to me. Is that what you're saying? No! Oh! Christ, Christ, Christ! Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know. I am so sorry, please. I'm sorry. Oh my god! God, Christ, Christ, Christ. You want to tell me I am a product of ungodliness? Is that what you're saying to me? Me, Debbie. Why didn't you tell me that I had a father who went to prison for 27 years? Why didn't you tell me I had a father who is a robber? I'm a product of ungodliness. The same man that killed you, his mom, is the same man that is my father. How could you, Mom? David. Why did you tell me? Mom, why did you keep this away from me? Have I ever kept anything away from you? I thought we were close. 
that we could share with it together. How could you do this to me? You couldn't even tell me my own father. My father was serving in jail for 27 years. 27 years. I didn't even know that I had a father. No fatherly love. I've always thought my father was late. She lied to me. You made me believe I had no father. You didn't even tell me my father was a murderer, an arm robber. How could you do this to me? Oh. How could you do this to me when I thought everything was going to be fine? When I felt I've already seen something to be happy about? Everything is clashing down my eyes and I can't even do anything. You see you. And you call yourself a mother? You know what? You disgust. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like strangling you. You disgust me. I am disgusted. Mom, I am disgusted. Who knows everything you've been keeping away from me? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So you mean you haven't met with Chubi of recent? away from me. He took my pride away from me. <laughs> Have you forgotten? I even gave birth for him. I gave birth to two sets. Two sets of twins. Oh. I was there for him. I was there for him. I was there for him. At his low moment, I was there. I was holding on for him. I was believing that tomorrow is going to be a good day. I was believing that tomorrow is going to be a good day. How am I supposed to know that everything will come crashing? Crashing all over my head. Does it mean all the love that he was professing to me, that he loved me. Does it mean they were all a charade? Does it mean he was joking? Does it mean he was joking? We need to stop. We need to stop. Look, this situation might be beyond you. Definitely not beyond God. God, you see me! You see me! You see me! Let me stop. Chiriko, people. God, you see me! I don't deserve this. You see me! I don't deserve this. Now listen to me. I need you to fix a meeting with Chubi in his house. But I won't be coming with you. Do you understand? I don't think you want to see me. I don't think things they need to be Let me listen to me. Debbie. That's a no. As the new get man, always focus on your job. 
Do you understand? My name is Chobi. That's it. Chobi, sir. Add some reference to my name. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. When I said my name is Chubby, does not mean you call me Chubby. Are you mad? Sorry, sir. Sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. Rule number one. No one visits my house without calling me on the phone. Yes, boss. Not even my father. Do you understand? Yes, boss. Now get back to you. Thank you, boss. You're welcome, sir. Um, please, what can I offer you? There'll be no need for that. I'm actually in a hurry. I learned to just go to where <laughs> Though you didn't tell me about it. I'm so sorry, sir. You know, the, the marriage was not um, planned by us. It was Chubi's family that organized it. That was why we didn't inform you. I'm so sorry. Um, well, I brought this gift for you, um, for your wedding. You can have it. What is it? What is the problem? <sighs> I did. <laughs> there was no wedding, Pastor. Something happened. <laughs> Something happened on that day. And the wedding was cancelled. I want to say, yes, just keep this for the two weeks when you get back. Okay. Heavy. Okay. So sorry about the whole thing. Well, like I said, I'm actually in a hurry, so I have to be on my way now. Please take care of yourself. See, does it matter where we come from? This love cannot be tapped. Cause our hearts beat for each other. This love cannot be tapped. Cause our hearts beat for each other. This love cannot be tapped. Cause our hearts beat for each other. Pastor, good day. Sir, please, on their behalf, I have come to beg. It's quite unfortunate that things had to happen this way, sir. Leaving the marriage is not the right thing to do, sir. Let's settle these things amicably, sir. Please, sir. Baby. Mm. Baby, please, I'm taking you the name of God and everything you hold sacred. Baby, please forgive us because of our children. Please, I'm taking you the name of God. Listen, with all due respect, Pastor, I am no longer interested. Sassi, this is not the way to say to these things. Leaving the marriage is not actually the right thing to do, sir. I have decided to remain single for the rest of my life. Because of all the children, sir. What about the children, please? <laughs> I'm begging you. Thou shalt not kill us in the Bible. Even the Bible said that. Even the Bible said that shall not kill Sir, please. 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 Sir, please.
tells me that if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Debbie, your mother's costly mistake has done enough damage. And the only way out of this is for both of you to forgive each other and confess your sins. This is the only way out. Okay? Please, can we pray? Let's bow eyes. Oh. oh, honey, you're back already. Yeah. Oh. So, um, how did the meeting go between you and Chubby? How did it go? The 15 million naira I spent is by God. Chubby told me face to face that he's not going to marry Debbie. Even when I promised him that I'm going to spend another 15 million naira. You know what? He told me directly to my face that over his dead body to get married to Debbie. You mean to be said that? Ah, what is wrong with him? Since he failed to tell us what went wrong between him and Debbie, he must marry her. It's a promise. And that's the reason I came back. What nonsense. And it's a way that I paid for everything, including gift items and the event hall. Mm. The worst thing the matter is not showing any remorse. He's not even bothered. Uh, honey, just calm down. Calm down. You don't need to worry. I will talk him into marrying Debbie. So just relax. Okay? It's a promise. If you say so, you better do it. You know you women, you always have ways of handling issues like this. That's why I told you, you should relax. Uh-huh. Um, have you taken your dinner? Let me go and make your dinner. So just relax. Don't need to worry. Thank you. Let me go and make dinner, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you my dear wife. Yeah, hi. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm looking for your boss. Is it you? Uh, yes, yes. Can I see you? Okay, madam, hold on. I'm coming.
Thanks, eh? My regards to you. Alright, sir. Thank you. I'll go on the way. Hello, Mr. Stunts do you think you are performing? Is it because Ella, Judith, and Hera have all gone back to London in the Sapphires? Or your father Jimmy has gone back to Kaduna in northern Nigeria? Just tell me. And how may I help you? How may I help you? I heard that according to some tradition, if Martins pays the bride price of my ex, send it. Automatically my kids become his. Is that true? Of course, yes. Young man, this is a tradition. That a man will go home with kids knowing fully well that these kids are not his. Because they have returned your dowry to you. Is it about that? What happens to the DNA test and all that? That is the tradition. That is your western and whatever you call it. It's a wrong tradition because their bloods will never match with this. Listen and listen good. You cannot change the tradition in this matter. Especially our ethnic group. And that is what it will be in this matter. So, be up and doing. Act quick. You can move to some sea. You can move into this appointment. This life is mystery.
Shed, please, baby, I'm begging you. Disappointment 